The crowded room's ending marks the return of a character and also brings full closure to Danny's trial and why Jack locks Danny during the crowded room finale's trial. Let you know this video contains spoilers. Stan demonstrates that Danny has dissociative identity disorder and was sexually raped by his stepfather Marlon when he was younger by confronting Jack about Danny's past and his relationship with Adam. As a result, the jury reaches the conclusion that Danny is not guilty on all counts due to insanity. Danny is transferred to a mental health hospital to undergo additional therapy for his problem. As the film's closing sequences imply, the verdict makes Danny understand that, thanks to people like Stan and Raya, he might no longer require the assistance of his alters. Danny's alters were an outcome of him having a dissociative reaction to Marlon's abuse, and his mother not being there to protect him from him. When Raya puts in the effort to help him and saves him from getting a prison sentence, he realizes there is hope. During his treatment, Danny does not let his mother see him for over two years because he finds it hard to forgive her for everything that happened with Marlon. However, he eventually decides to face the music and meets her in the crowded room's ending scenes. Why Jack locks Danny during the crowded room finale's trial? In the final scene of the crowded room episode 9, Danny wounds himself after feeling betrayed by his mother for not telling the truth about Marlon's deeds. Jack locks Danny to keep him from injuring himself because his only duty as an altar is to shield Danny from any damage that might come from the outside. Then he assumes control because he doesn't think Raya can assist Danny win the case. Jack appears as Danny's altar in the finale's trial to steer it in a route that guarantees Danny receives a brief prison sentence after realizing he may not have much of a chance of winning the case. The truth about Adam in the crowded room and how he returns. The crowded room's finale reveals that Jack, who previously called the shots on which alternate identity got take over Danny, had deemed Adam an undesirable alter. As Jack confesses in court, he did this because he believed Adam had sacrificed Danny's well-being to ensure their mother's happiness. In Jack's words, Adam wanted Marlon to do whatever he wanted to him because he worried about how Candy would feel if she found out. Since this made Adam a threat to Danny, Jack let him go and made him an undesirable alter who he believed Danny did not need. Since Danny was previously unaware of his alter's existence, he had assumed that Adam had died when he was much younger. However, Jack's confession helps him realize that Adam is still somewhere out there, and only he can bring him back by taking control of his alternate identities. Therefore, towards the final moments of the trial, as Jack begins to fade, Danny takes control and finds Adam somewhere deep within himself. What happens to Raya in the crowded room's ending? A moment near the climax of the crowded room provides a glimpse into Raya's past, in which her mother claims to have entered a diagnosis in the DSM. She appears to be alluding to the critical significance Raya's study on Danny's case, played in the recognition and diagnosis of dissociative identity disorder. The DSM citation means that the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM, also accepts Raya's diagnosis of the mental health condition. Raya also informs Danny that she is no longer a professor, but a shrink and a mother, implying that she works as a private therapist who prioritizes her family.